Hey, good morning, everybody. Hey, uh, this is for the lesson on page 93. Um, but, but before we get there, I want to, uh, to just review page 92. We did a little bit of vocabulary, okay? So the first one was the word severe. Um, so severe means something that is like very harsh or very bad or very... Um, very tough, you know, so the definition that they gave to us was very harsh, okay, so one example of severe weather, uh, you guys filled that in, okay, it could be a really, really bad snowstorm, it could be a, you know, maybe, maybe you were close to a forest fire, it could be a tornado, it could be a huge earthquake, okay, so severe weather, um, would be something that's very harsh weather, okay? Then the next word that we focused on was occur, occur. So if something occurs, that means that it happens, right? So to happen. When do most of your conversations with friends occur? Most conversations with friends occur while we're at lunch, okay? Or something like that, okay? All right, so we had that, that vocabulary that we did. Okay, so severe and occur, okay? All right, now looking at decade of drought, beginning in the early 2000s, severe water shortages affected millions of people in many regions of the world. Here's a look at some of the most hard hit areas. Okay, so the U.S. Southwest. Destructive wildfires are common during droughts in the Southwest. Shown here in 2012, a huge fire raged in New Mexico. Okay, in 2014, record setting droughts occurred throughout the U.S. Southwest. Scientists say that changes in climate are a major cause of droughts. The climate is affected by cyclical changes in the surface temperatures of the oceans. Warmer ocean temperatures, excuse me, big yawn, um, warmer ocean temperatures cause an alternating pattern of increased rainfall and extreme heat and drought. During the drought, communities in California, Arizona, New Mexico, Utah, and Colorado passed laws regarding water use. These laws included reducing the number of gallons of water used daily per person, restricting unnecessary water use, and finding and fixing leaks. The drought resulted in shrinking reservoirs and groundwater supplies. Meanwhile, hot, dry conditions increased the threat of destructive wildfires. Okay, so why is this text titled Decade of Drought? The text is titled Decade of Drought because it's about blank. Okay. Then read critically. How does the map deepen your understanding of the water shortages d discussed in the text? Okay, the map helps me understand that blank. Okay, so... Um, Okay, so how does the map help you understand about water shortages? Okay, um, then how did the photo of the wildfire on page 92 deepen your knowledge of the drought in the southwest? The photo of the wildfire deepened my knowledge of the drought by blank. Okay, so I don't know, how does this, how does this picture um, deepen your understanding of droughts? Okay, and then this map... This right here, I need to zoom in to see. Okay, so it makes, is it color coordinated? I'm trying to figure out the question that they talk about. Um, right here, the map helps me understand that blank. Okay, so. Okay, um, I don't. In my mind, this kind of shows us the ranges or the the places that they've had severe drought, right? Okay, I know that they talked about in the southwest. Okay, which shows right here this this um, picture of this uh, this raindrop with a cross through it means that they're not getting enough, right? 
Okay, so it kind of shows us, the map shows us the regions that they are having severe drought. Okay, pretty simple. I think I was trying to make that more difficult than what it was asking for. Um, okay, so page 93. I want you to get page 93 done. And, uh, and these are kind of your own answers right here. Okay, get 93 done. And then let's get it get it turned in, okay? All right, um, from there, let's move on. Let's do uh, 20 minutes of independent reading and 20 minutes of student application. Awesome. Thanks, guys.